Uh, I'm Anthony Sinnis uh, from the University of York and I'm responsible for buying stuff. So that includes all of the different types of resources that we buy for our academics and students across everything from kind of physical books to ebooks, e resources databases. So I spend a lot of time dealing with suppliers and with the purchase and acquisition um, of content with the kind of the, the, the suppliers that we buy content from and the systems and the processes that we use to buy things. And today I just want to kind of introduce some of the frustrations that we have, particularly around ebooks and e textbooks. To, to start off, I'll give an analogy because I think this is the, the, the simplest way to explain the, the way, the particular peculiar way in which the market is broken and causes direct harm to universities and as a consequence to students. If you imagine, imagine a football, uh, being a football fan and you follow a team and you follow them for, for years, I'm a, a Middlesbrough fan myself, um, you will understand and you'll know acutely that Buying tickets to go watch a football match has absolutely no elasticity. It, the reason for that is because there isn't there isn't a comparison. If I can't buy tickets to watch my football team because they're priced out of my price range, I won't go down the road and watch another football team. Uh, I won't go to a Newcastle match or to a Sunderland match because I don't support the at Newcastle or Sunderland. Same if you were a Liverpool fan and you couldn't get Liverpool tickets, you wouldn't automatically go to an Everton match just because it's down the road. Because the two things um, aren't related in that way. So overpricing cannot necessarily translate to ditching something and buying something else because often what we're trying to deal with is things that have no comparator they're either exclusive textbooks or that are, that are particularly licensed around a certain topic area or they're so enmeshed in a particular module or a course that they're really difficult to to replace so we're often forced in this position where we have to buy certain resources for the university um, and publishers know this and they've been extremely slow in converting to from from old kind of print textbook models to, to ebooks, and this is why we often find uh, the the massive issues with kind of pricing disparities, a, a complete randomness or it seeming randomness to us on the outside looking in with with pricing, um, poor license models, massive restrictions, and just a general inability to buy. If in an affordable way and in a sustainable way, enough licenses to satisfy large cohorts of students. So if there's anything that I could just really kind of very quickly uh, explain that I would want rid of straight away from negotiations with publishers, it would be the situation that um, I've been trying to deal with this morning. So, and this is a situation that, that happens every year and we know it's going to happen every year, but there's absolutely nothing that we can do about it. We have an ebook on a limited credits model. Every year we get 400 credits for that ebook, and every year it runs out because it's an extremely popular ebook on an extremely hard course. Unfortunately, the license to sell that model was withdrawn from our aggregator. So they cannot take away what we've already bought, but we cannot buy any more. Uh, any, any more credits. Usually with a credit model, you will buy replacement credits as they run out. But in this case, it's been withdrawn from sale. It hasn't appeared yet on any of the e-textbook platforms that operate in the UK. So we're in a position where we've got an e-book, it's embedded in a module. We know that it gets massive use year on year and every single year at a certain point in the year, usually middle of May towards the end of June, we run out of credits completely and then we have to try and scramble and find different ways of photocopying, um, scanning to, to try and replicate access usually in time for some kind of open book exam. As you, as you probably can tell, that's not a sustainable situation and it's one that's replicated multiple times across the sector uh, and in our university and that's just a kind of small uh, example. But that type of thing, the limited access and the limited ability to be able to just create a market and buy things is a huge problem. And it's one of the main reasons why we find ourselves in, in such difficulties uh, to be able to kind of provide consistent, proper access uh, for, for enough of our titles.